What's going on, guys? It is your boy Juan Luis back at it again with another Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. I have to apologize in advance <laughs> for not making these videos a little bit more consistently. Your boy's been super busy. October's always busy for me, but yeah, I've been out of town and um, yeah, um, just been running around doing a whole bunch of crap. So yeah, um, haven't had the chance really to make a video but today i have some time off and yeah here we are we are playing the beerus so i'm gonna say the dragon ball super uh movie arc that's that's what i'm gonna name this actually <laughs> the dragon ball super uh movie arc we're playing um when goku turns into goku god red and goes up against Beerus and then Resurrection F. So this should be fun. Um, I'm going to let them speak. Very well, I accept your terms. But know this, none in this universe can hope to match the power of Beerus the Destroyer. I'm not done yet! Okay. Anyways, so yeah, um, man, looking back at this, like I don't know, something about the Beerus movie is so nostalgic to me. It reminds me of a time when I was still in college, and um, I was just, you know, itching. Right? I think all Dragon Ball fans were itching for more Dragon Ball. We weren't getting it. And then we hear about this announcement of a movie, and it's a continuation, kind of, sort of, because it's technically a prequel to Z's last episode, right? I think that's the timeline. Yeah, it is. And um, yeah, we still, uh, we finally got something, and. It was in theaters. It was crazy. I was with my friends at the time, and yeah, we just had a hell of a time. And then I remember it was a, uh, a send-off for one of my friends who was going to study abroad and didn't see her for a while. But anyways, yeah, for some reason, it takes me back to that moment in time of my life. Let me know in the comments below. <clears throat> Where were you guys at when, uh, and how did you guys feel when... Um, the first Dragon Ball movie came out. I, uh, Dragon Ball Super movie came out. Sorry, I kind of forgot the name. I forgot the name of the exact name of it. Right? I know it was Dragon Ball Super something. I know the Resurrection F, Dragon Ball Super Heroes, and there's the Broly one. But something about this one, man, it's it's just so epic. And by the way, speaking of epic, let's. <laughs> Yo, that uh, that little ultimate. Well, all of Goku's um attacks look sick as hell in this form. Personally, I feel like they should do something more with the Goku uh red uh well go. Okay, what's the correct term for this? The Dragon Ball uh, Goku Red God Red transformation they should do something with it man like they should um they should do more with it and as you can see i got my butt whooped um <laughs> oh man i actually thought this was part of the of the um of the story i thought this was supposed to happen and then um yeah i was in for a rude awakening and i'm like crazy so i have to actually like Beat the crap out of Beerus here. All right, well, let's go. <laughs> so here's the second time around. Um, I believe I beat him this time. I literally had no old bar here. By this time and point in the game, I'm starting to get the hang of it a little bit more. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I still don't 100% have the grasp of the combos in this game. I still don't fully understand how they, like go i think it's something with my settings um i believe i did put auto combo in but um i've been hearing that taking it out is the way to go but i think i put it out and it's still 
not going through the way I wanted to. So I don't know. I'm going to see and um, experiment a little bit. Personally, I don't like doing it in practice mode, so I'll just probably practice against the AI um, or maybe do some online. But when you're in a pickle or something like that, spamming this sparking zero against the AI is probably the best way to go. Don't do what I just did here and just raw dog the mega don't, just don't do that because <laughs> then that happens <laughs> and then you lose all your key a dow you're pretty much screwed right so um luckily the ai is acting weird and i was able to capitalize on it uh got some buff got behind him um i believe i sidestepped i'm not sure um and now is when you want to use your mega because he's falling it's kind of vulnerable that's when you want to get um even if you're going online this is the way to go this is the way to do it right this is how you want to um pull off those megas anyways back to my um goku god red um uh rant yes i feel like they should have done a little bit more with him I mean, the design is hella cool, but I feel like as soon as he turned into Goku Blue, um, when he got that, that blue aura, yeah, he it kind of, you know, became a thing of the past. And now that Ultra Instinct is a thing, like now Blue has kind of become a thing of the past, sort of. Um, but he's able to control Blue a little bit more, so I guess it's getting a little bit more shine. But red, I feel like, deserved a little better. It, it looks cool. Even though I'm not the biggest fan of how he gets his transformation, the whole, you need five pure Saiyans in order to get this form. Yeah, I don't know about that. I, <laughs> I don't know how I felt about that, but um, yeah. Um, I feel like they should incorporate it probably with Ultra Instinct or something. But yeah, man, um, this was a, a really good turning point in Dragon Ball's franchise, I felt. When Beerus showed up, and then we got the series, and we got a few more movies after that, yeah. This was the right route to go. Only thing is that with Daima now, I, I, I don't know what timeline we're in. Where are we, bro? <laughs> I, I, I heard that this takes place after... Was it Z? I heard that it takes place after Z. I'm not sure, bro. I If that's the case, then it takes place after Super. I, I, don't, I'm, I don't know, man. I hope we get answers to that because I'm a little confused watching Daima. So I'm just enjoying it for what it is right now, right? I'm just enjoying these episodes and just going with it. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys are enjoying Daima. What you guys think of it? What you like it? You hate it? Think it's too kiddy? You think it's just the right amount of humor and um, action? Are you happy about it? Let me know. Personally, I um, I think it's great. I like the artwork. Um, some of the humor doesn't really hit as hard as it used to hit, but. I personally enjoy it. I don't really find it. Fine. Oh, Do whatever okay, you there's want some dialogue here. It occurs to me. I suppose I should thank you. Thank me? What in the world for? For years, my every step, my every breath has been motivated by a single desire. Revenge. My new power, strength enough to hold the universe by its throat. It was you who gave it to me. Losing to you, to a pathetic Saiyan. It consumed me. The humiliation was too much to bear. Enough! Get to the point! Ah, impatient as ever. Very well. As a token of my gratitude, I will destroy you first. Okay. But anyways, um... Yeah, I personally am enjoying uh, Daima uh, at the time of recording this video. There's about three episodes out. First episode was kind of a recap, kind of an introduction of these new villains. And then from the second episode on, it's um, 
it's where we want to be at, right? They're young and all that. Some people are calling a GT knockoff. But um, I think it's his own thing, you know. The only thing that makes it GT is that we have a kid Goku, right? So here we are, Goku Blue in the flesh. Really like this outfit also. Looks cool. This fight was actually really nice. Ooh, look at that blue aura. You know, when you're playing the game, you don't really notice these little things. It's only when you look back at it. Golden Frieza. That's another movie I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed that one. Um, of course, of all the movies, I think the best one was Broly. But this one, man, this was definitely a second for me. Seeing Frieza again, and not just seeing him again, but just seeing him gold. And then they had that song that Frieza, 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 Frieza. It was, it was such a good time, bro. I loved it. Um, yeah, something about Frieza, bro. He's always going to be like the goaded villain, right? He's always going to be that, that that thorn in the rose, you know? You, you don't like it. But you like everything else, right? He's just, he's the Darth Vader of Star Wars, right? He's a, a, to Luke, you know? So in this game, he is Goku's uh, Darth Vader. He's the villain you love to hate, but yeah, awesome movie. And, um... Yeah, luckily I didn't have to, like, beat him. <laughs> I just had to, like, really damage him and stuff. But there is uh, an alternative where you do have to beat him quickly. Um, I ended up doing that, but nothing crazy really happens. Goku just beats him. So, <laughs> Oh, man, cannot wait to see him animated in his uh, dark form. So that should be really cool. But anyways, guys... I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Please be safe out there. Have a blessed day, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Like always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and hit the notification button. Be safe out there. Peace.